Breaking news, slaves in Kentucky are under house arrest. Their only crime is being positive for the Gates Fauci virus, this COVID HIV 2.0 that everyone has been infected with. We're gonna be getting into the news and the latest discoveries out there, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, we've also been covering the angle of this virus that's cut with rabies. We're seeing society degenerate around us. It's like the zombie apocalypse is about to hit. Just wait for the elections. People are waiting for the boogaloo. The boogaloo's coming to you, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got some of the latest footage from Seattle, no Portland, and it's getting crazy out there. It's like a whole new breed of Americans, a whole new species out there to say the least. We're going to cover the big news and give a big shout out to everybody in the audience. No one should be allowed to drive again until there are no fatal accidents for four consecutive days. Then we can slowly begin to phase in certain classes of people who begin driving again, but at only half the posted speed limit. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. We could say this about drugs and many other top killers in our society. How about we just you know, stop everything until the drug crisis stops. That would be nice, ladies and gentlemen. Or maybe we could just stop delivering food until the GMOs stop. Check this out. These are masks for paint, asbestos, mask mining. But Fauci's wearing the mask for the deadliest virus in history. There's something wrong with the mask. There's something wrong with the testing. There's something wrong with this virus. And people better start asking the right questions before it's too late. Are you getting it now? African migrant arrested after fire guts cathedral, historic cathedral. And this just makes us think that obviously the Notre Dame fire was no accident either, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, there's many churches that are burning, many statues that are being burned and you know, vandalized and the like. And it's because we're dealing with cult members. You know, why do they have to lash out at, you know, churches and symbols of Christianity, ladies and gentlemen, it's because what's going on out there, it isn't about politics, it's about religion. And this is the zombie Luciferian horde, the armies of Gog and Magog storming our streets of New Babylon, waiting to punish you it's going to be like the purge it's going to be like the hunger games before you know it big breaking news tyranny escalates couple in kentucky under house arrest for testing positive now perhaps they tried to escape home quarantine but you know we've been seeing vans snatching people right off the streets unmarked vans unmarked federal agents snatching people like the gestapo now you're under house arrest for the Gates Fauci virus, and that's exactly what this is, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got uh, footage of that on our website, stfnreport.com, and our Twister feed. We want to remind everybody to uh, send us your videos of 5G death towers in your neighborhood. We just covered the death towers in the previous broadcast, and uh, they're getting new and improved out there, ladies and gentlemen. A million mink called in the Netherlands and Spain amid COVID-19 fur farming havoc. And this is just the beginning. Soon they'll find it in the chickens, they'll find it in the pork, they'll find it in the cattle. And all of a sudden we'll be running out of food because it's contaminated with COVID. Look, I mean, they can just cook the food and kill the COVID. It'll be fine. They certainly could have just basically, you know, done some kind of sterilization process for this fur but you don't really want to kill these fuzzy little animals for their fur we've killed pretty much all life on earth and it's only getting worse but this tells us theoretically that this virus is like no other virus it's infecting every animal on earth cats dogs minks you name it and you know most viruses are custom customized for a particular species maybe two species but to see it infect You know, all life on Earth tells us basically that this was engineered in a lab. The Fauci Gates fires. Those people are still free to strike again. You're going to get another wave and another wave until those people are arrested or worse. 
ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, for the war crimes that they've committed, soon you're going to start seeing posters wanted dead or alive. Walmart will require all customers to wear a mask starting July 20th. So the federal government may not mandate this, um, you know, these masks, but your stores will. Best Buy, uh, Costco, many others, everybody's going to file suit or follow suit, we should say. And here's some, uh, some more footage from Portland. And it looks like, you know, Mad Max out there. It's like a whole new breed and a whole new species of Americans. These are Americans. Look, they're, they're holding the, the police station under siege trying to break in. And so, or this is the federal courthouse, it looks like. So authorities have protected the courthouse with some kind of, you know, uh, barrier, it looks like. And uh, here they are just trying to break in and burn it down to the ground. Now, it's funny how all of these people are using... You know, the Boogaloo tactics, taking down uh, essentially these institutions that are making it possible for this deep state tyranny to exist. The courthouses don't prosecute criminals. They protect the criminals. They protect the establishment and the like. And on and on it goes throughout all of these institutions. They're there to protect the tyranny. And so to a certain extent, you have to like, you know, uh, you know what you're seeing here. Unfortunately, it's a communist. It's going to be a communist revolution instead of a of an American revolution, ladies and gentlemen. Now here are your kids on drugs. You know, these phones are like crack cocaine. And if you wanna get your kids back, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you gotta shock them uh, back into the real world. And, you know, they don't even know, but they're running out of time as they're getting irradiated and dumbed down by the device. And so, you know, soon there'll be a, a totally, you know, lost libtard. Target is starting to put mirrors so you can try on different masks. Now, you know, what are these masks really made of? What are you going to be breathing in through these masks? Um, you know, these aren't pharmaceutical grade uh, air filters uh, or, you know, uh, FFP2 uh, masks uh, that you would get at a pharmacy. These are just some kind of, you know, cheap, uh, toxic, you know, kind of like fashion statement. Oh, look, I've got a pretty mask instead of a, uh, you know, uh, a pharmaceutical grade mask and that's essentially what you should be shooting for not style but efficiency you know uh, most of these masks at the N95 FFP2 really don't stop the virus either but it's certainly a lot better than just a surgical mask Florida company adapts drones to sanitize stadiums venues what venues you know are they gonna be flying over your house spraying you with more COVID and the like I mean these people are fluoridating your water they're poisoning your water. They're spraying all of your foods with pesticides, neurotoxins. You know, they're making you eat GMOs, ladies and gentlemen, on purpose uh, to poison you. And so don't think that they're not going to poison you through other means like viruses, death towers, vaccines, and, um, you know, whatever this, these kind of, you know, chemicals might be. So anyways, uh, we've got an excellent... Uh, BLM story here. This lady is calling BLM out for what it is and, you know, saying all Christians must unite against this tyranny. And, you know, black people are some of the most woke people out there, but, you know, we've got a very troubled new generation gangster class out there. You know, it's been force fed MTV and ScrewTube, you know, their entire lives. They never knew the pre 9 11 world. They're like, you know, a different race of Americans. Uh, here's uh, some activism going on in the UK. Masks do not work. The science shows they do not work. Why are we wearing them? Mas so the masks, the surgical masks don't work. I mean, they just stop, you know, or reduce the amount of fresh oxygen that's coming into your body. So it may cause more harm than good. Wearing a surgical mask really is, isn't, and you know, it's more like a statement that you lack intelligence more than anything else you know if if you were intelligent you'd have like some real type of mask a gas mask or you know maybe some kind of you know pharmaceutical grade mask at the very least but surgical mask whether you buy them at the pharmacy or at the walmart have two big holes on the sides you know they're not really uh stopping anything now here's a new tactic you know uh toss the phone behind enemy lines had to like that one 
uh, ladies and gentlemen. Here's uh, another video from Portland. Uh, we're seeing that, uh, you know, it looks like a scene from hell, basically, doesn't it? Doesn't that look very, you know, hellish, dark sided, and the like? And, um, you know, this brings up a very interesting point about setting the scene, setting the mood, colors. But again, this is happening in Portland. What we would like to say is, you know, in the natural world, you see a lot of colors, but you hardly see red, you know, in the natural world. Uh, it's usually, you know, maybe some wildflowers, but fire. That's what red really represents, not passion, not hearts, but, you know, fire and blood. You know what I mean? So dark-sided kind of stuff and whatever you see, you know, red logos, corporate logos, people wearing red obsessively saying the number six, you're dealing with a hardcore cult member. Uh, you know, this is the life for our children now. Look at that. You know, you thought special ed was tough. Look at this. Uh, get up. How are you supposed to breathe? How are you supposed to, uh, you know, learn, you know, under conditions like this? You thought the Common Core was going to mess them up, you know, wait till you see what the COVID does. French Nobel Prize winning scientist Luc uh, Montagnier has accused biologists of having created SARS CoV 2, the Epstein Gates virus that causes COVID 19 in a lab. He states that he will return his Nobel Prize if anyone can disprove his claim. So you've got a Nobel Prize winning scientist saying, this is a bioweapon that comes from a lab. And he's willing to put his million dollar Nobel Prize, you know, at stake. And that's what we're seeing is more and more people are absolutely sure that this came from a lab cut with HIV. This is really AIDS 2.0, not COVID-19. This is really the Epstein Gates uh, virus. Uh, Epstein Gates, uh, we should say the uh, the Gates Fauci virus. We're thinking Epstein Gates because of the Epstein Barr virus, which is mononucleosis. And uh, it seems like this virus was cut with some mono as well. But all sorts of scientific evidence, check out our website, stfnreport.com, on what scientists are saying about uh, this virus. And, you know, there's obviously something wrong here. And it looks like it's using multiple pathways, uh, the ACE2 and uh, other pathways to get into the cells. It looks like a hybrid. And, you know, the HIV is a telltale sign of, um, of originating in a lab because most biosafety labs out there, especially level four, uh, you know, they're just mixing every virus they can with HIV just to see what happens. We've got all sorts of white papers research, you know, of them mixing all sorts of viruses with HIV. There's no telling what kind of, you know, monster viruses are circulating out there or how long they've been deploying viruses like this, um, you know, in our society, kind of like covertly and testing out things. You know, there was reports for, for the last couple of years of a mysterious new virus that, that came on the scene and started paralyzing children, something like DEV486 or something like that. A big mystery, where did this virus come from? Uh, why does it act uh, the way it does, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, we've been talking about how the flu seasons have been getting worse and worse uh, since the 90s. You know, back in the 90s, it was like 10, 15,000 people a year. And now it can be up to 100,000 people a year. So something has changed dramatically. And now with the COVID, you know, we could be looking at an, an extra 200,000 uh, people a year. But the numbers, you know, what do the numbers mean? Nobody knows what the numbers mean. I mean, the tests aren't reliable. We have no uh, way to verify uh, the numbers that they're reporting. We just have to, you know, take them for granted. And everything about this outbreak has been wrong since the beginning of this pandemic. So you really have to wonder you know, what's going on out there. Just want to remind everybody that we're listener supported. If you like our broadcast, be sure to buy the video guy a beer at patreon.com forward slash STF news. You can find the link in the video description on the screw tube page. Check this out. BBC children TV presenter admits 40 sex offenses against children in 30 year campaign of terror. No shit. You know, kind of like another Jimmy Savile here and what we're learning is you know most of these celebrities politicians the people you see on television they're part of this cult this charlie manson cult this jonestown cult that wants everybody to drink the kool-aid 
that wants everybody to get uh, the vaccine, if you will. Here's another real, you know, hellish kind of uh, scene here. And of course, you have to remember that these churches are temples uh, with altars, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, this is a mega crime. And of course, we live in a society today that has just become upside down, Luciferian, where evil is good, good is evil. And to these people, they like nothing better than to watch our churches burn down. And so, you know, people need to, um, you know, stand together based on, you know, their faith rather than other type of social demographics. Because at the end of the day, you know, these cult members are out to kill humanity. They're out to kill, uh, you know, life as we know it on this planet. And, you know, they're definitely targeting Christians out there, ladies and gentlemen. So the 5 are, you know, living in a world that they've never seen before, to be quite honest. And while, you know, nobody likes, you know, the police state or the police brutality to a certain extent, I mean, these people are, you know, taking out the trash if you will and you know most of the people that you know that basically have a you know terrible experience with the law are basically acting out uh, for the most part doing things that they shouldn't have been doing you know most people survive a traffic stop most people survive you know their encounters with the 5 and you know maybe you know some of its racism but you know, a lot of the stories that we've seen, a lot of the cases that we've seen, you know, it seems like, you know, they they did the wrong thing at the wrong time, you know, pulled a gun, had a gun, ran away, resisted arrest and the like. So, look, you may not like the police state, but there's, def there's a definite need for law and order. We don't really have justice in this country uh, when it comes to, you know, the big picture, but... You know, if we don't even have justice at the street level, then we're definitely going Mad Max. At the, at, the end of, at the end of the day, we should put our differences aside and just understand that, you know, satanic elite pedophiles rule this world. And if we can agree that, you know, child molesters should hang, then we're all going to be in a better place, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, collectively. Here's some info, verified or not verified is another story. Uh, Trump Hotel collecting all sorts of private donations. So it seems like they're funneling in cash through the back door. Big surprise there, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you know, here's some more testimonials of people just really having a tough time in the new America. And you have to wonder how real was the recovery. I mean, it looked good on Wall Street, but, you know, how good was the recovery? How good was the economy for people? Out there. She and others are struggling to make it through this. I'm starving. <laughs> I haven't ate two days. Yeah. Crackheads everywhere. But look, you know, we're the richest country on earth and we leave so many people behind. It's really disturbing. And you think, you know, we could just eradicate poverty instead of wage endless wars for oil and kill millions of people. You know, it's just all bad news. And evil is as evil does. You can tell them by their fruits. And if they're starving our people, if they're treating us like shit, poisoning us, poisoning our food, our air, our water, irradiating us, you know, it's no surprise that they're out there genociding people around the world. And we got to quit voting for these cocksuckers, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of cocksuckers, I mean, the idea of two men plowing each other is severely disturbing. I just can't imagine going up to, you know, some dude say, hey, Jim, why don't you show me your package yeah oh yeah let's uh, let's do it there buddy you know it's it's very disturbing that's a sign of a mental illness and uh, any you know normal dude will tell you that now, that that doesn't mean that we shouldn't care for the mentally ill but instead of promoting that at schools why don't we treat them appropriately chicago white Sox uh perhaps will change their names for being offensive you know white is offensive these days is that wrong to say why stop at statues burning books is always fun minnesota school destroys books older than 10 years because of covid they say and of course they don't want any remnants of the old world you know surviving uh this transition and so it's very much like the nazis the book burning the censorship uh and the like and uh, the false flags and emergency powers and you know we're seeing we're certainly going to start seeing internment camps for COVID positive. We're going to have a COVID elite. And they're making the room for the robots out there. Making the room for the robots to replace you. 
Um, again, you know, this is a very big bombshell news story from the San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, coronavirus antibodies uh, fading fast, vaccine hopes fade as well. We kind of talked about this briefly in other broadcasts, but uh, seriously, the situation out there is degenerating, uh, to say the least. And, um, you know, it looks like right now this is a forever virus. Our, our life has changed forever. It's hard to believe how, you know, bad is it getting the COVID? Um, you know, short term, it might not be so bad. Long term, it could be much worse than we think. And at this stage, you know, it's better just to kind of stay out of the way as much as possible. In any case, you know, for the next couple of years, whether you like it or not, whether you like this virus or not, or the virus story, um, you know, we're going to have severe impacts on our society, on our way of life. And, you know, we can certainly argue you know, there is no virus and, you know, the virus isn't that deadly compared to, you know, other things. But uh, essentially, you know, it's going to have a huge impact on, um, you know, on our freedoms and our way of life, uh, to say the least. And uh, can't get enough of this crackhead. Crackheads everywhere. And if it's not one thing out there, it's another and these death towers, that's another thing, ladies and gentlemen, just blasting you every day, irradiating you, you know, basically violating you, raping you, traversing your body at the speed of light, causing cellular damage, changing the chemical properties of the atoms that run within you. And, you know, we could spend a lot of time on that, but uh, it's a very interesting concept, adding energy into uh, a molecule or a compound, because now all of a sudden you've got electrons floating on different uh, you know shells if you will as if you know the uh, the lower shells are already filled up so this may change um, you know a lot of biological functions things that people just can't understand yet uh, to be quite honest with you that's why there's an army of researchers trying to stop the 5g trying to stop uh, you know the radiation because that's exactly what this is it's radiation and uh, you know they can call it safe because they're making big dollars with it but you know this stuff is not safe according to the independent research and just looking at these things i mean they look gnarly they look huge they look weaponized i mean you know if somebody set up a ham radio in their backyard right next to you and it looked like this i mean you would be concerned um and here they are you know hooking it up to you know unlimited power supplies with just huge amplifiers on them and you know basically high gain you know directional antennas with phase beaming capabilities uh you know this is this is worse than a weapon in your neighborhood and look i think activists will continue to burn these death towers down they may have to get a little more um you know macgyver or mission impossible with their operations but you know undoubtedly if people can sack you know, police uh, precincts and police cars and courthouses, then they can burn down these death towers uh, just the same. And, you know, experts say just a little lighter fluid on the wiring and, you know, the power supply and off it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, here's some uh, news that everybody needs to hear every single day uh, for quite some time. That gives you high confidence that it originated in that Wuhan lab. Martha, there's enormous evidence that that's where this began. Uh, we've said from the beginning that this was uh, a virus that originated in Wuhan, China. We took. And there's a reason why it originated in Wuhan. There's a reason why it was coronavirus. This was the whole purpose of that lab, and it was funded by Gates, Fauci, and the communists out there. We want to give a big shout out to everybody in the audience. Uh, good Penny, how you doing? Marco from KFOC 95.1, Zion Syme. Monkey Face, what you doing? Chad, how you doing? Uh, Trilithon, what's going on? Edwin, how you doing? Pat's Place, Casey Willis, uh, many others. Big shout out to Luke Skywalker. Big shout out to uh, Tina Smith and our fake book administrator, Bella Marie. If you're on the fake book world, give, uh, give a shout out to Bella Marie and her page, Stop 5G Genocide. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll be broadcasting back on the main Screwtube channel 
Uh, probably August 1st, we just want all the, you know, the strikes to expire and all of that stuff. So, you know, who are you going to vote for in this next election? COVID commander or creepy Biden? Hard choice, ladies and gentlemen, but you know that no matter who you vote for, it's still the same people in charge. And, you know, nothing seems to be going back in the right direction. We're certainly not going back to the 90s, back to the pre-9-11 world, no 9-11 investigation, no Hillary for prison. Instead, they're, you know, locking up whistleblowers like Julian Assange. They're erecting death towers in your neighborhood. And look, it's all bad news. You know, we expected a lot more from this administration. You know, this isn't a libtard channel by any means, but um, you know, they've certainly, you know, haven't delivered on what they promised, no term limits and, you know, many other things. And so they could have done so much better and now we're all paying for it. And, you know, you're just basically left with total incompetence, no matter who you vote for, but it's not really incompetence. It's part of the scam. It's part of the scheme. Um, you know, they, they want you to fight amongst each other, Republican, Democrats, so you're not really looking at the big picture, which is the extermination program, this terraforming, this, uh, you know, genocide that's happening right now. And, you know, we're getting a lot of reports from people around the world that there's a lot less geoengineering this year since, you know, the outbreak compared to previous years. And it's really weird to see. I mean, all year there's basically, I haven't seen a single chemtrail, maybe like one or two, you know, and it was exotic. It's like, ooh, look, you know, there's one. But uh, a lot less chemtrails, a lot less haze around the sun. You can see the difference. A lot of people are reporting different temperatures compared to last year. And it's really hard to say, you know, what these uh, chemtrails are doing, either making it hotter or colder, but um, you know, we'd almost say it's making it hotter right now, ladies and gentlemen. Friendly, friendly reminder that everybody should get a meter out there and lower your dose of radiation as much as you can. Start putting up shielding uh, wherever you can uh, and lower your exposure. Test out your shielding, make sure it works, and you know, explore new techniques. It's actually a real fun science learning about uh, EMF radiation and the like how it acts, uh, you know, what works, what doesn't work. And, um, you know, a meter will really help kind of like clarify, you know, what's actually going on in the environment around you. And, um, you know, we talk about it a lot, but unless you have one of these in your toolkit, uh, you're really not prepared, uh, you know, to survive in the 21st century. And of course, you know, this new world order, these eugenics programs are predicated on stupidity. It's why they dumb people down. It's why the public, public education sucks. Stupid people are much more easy to manipulate. And, uh, you know, th classically speaking, meters have been pretty uh, pricey out of the range of most people, you know, just for curiosity's sake for the, you know, and, um, you know, most of them are around two to 400 bucks, some a thousand, some, you know, even more than that. Uh, we found one for 129 it works real well fits in your pocket it's got all sorts of features that the other meters don't have better range and the like uh, you can find uh, you know all the info that you'll probably need on our website stfnreport.com and uh, link should be you know in the description or in the chat as far as finding uh, this meter and you get it directly from the manufacturer gq electronics they make uh, radiation meters as well it's not just, you know, they're not just like a one-hit wonder. They make a lot of, uh, you know, technical equipment. And uh, they get a one-year warranty. Ships from Seattle. So it's a quality product. You can drop it. At, uh, I've had mine for over a year. It still lasts. still works real good. And it'll change your life. You know, you can see the, the, uh, the ratings on it on Amazon. I think everybody's running a sale right now, or it might just be done for 119. Um, so I know some people were able to pick it up for 119. It was like a two or three day sale on Amazon Prime Day or some bullshit like that. So we got them to match it, and but whenever the Amazon Prime thing is over, that's when the prices go back to normal. So we'll try and get uh, some other promotions, but you know, 119, 129 is still a steal uh, for what it does. And uh, look. Without a meter out there, you're really just kind of asking for trouble because you'd be surprised how quickly the radiation spikes. And, you know, we're now getting reports of like two, 300 milliwatts out there. And, you know, that's like 
200, 300,000 times normal, uh, natural, you know, background radiation. And, uh, you know, the Bio Initiative Safety Standards say, says one milliwatt is basically the max. That's 1,000 times natural radiation. So 1,000 mil, or one milliwatt, 1,000 microwatts is considered uh, extreme. And, you know, a lot of cities are, you know, towns are easily two to, well, say two to 300 milliwatts right now. Your routers, your phones can pump out, you know, hundreds of milliwatts, sometimes, you know, um, up to three, 5,000 milliwatts. Huge, huge. When you consider, you know, a microwave oven at the door is like 20 milliwatts. And that's, you know, pretty bad news. Everybody would say, you know, it's funny. The scientists would say, let's see if we can pull up this, um, this video on the tri-field meter in front of the microwave. I think we have it uh, somewhere here. But, you know, everybody will tell you that standing right in front of the microwave oven is bad for you. At, uh, where is that video? Oh, it must be gone. In any case, everybody will tell you that standing in front of a microwave oven is bad news for you. And the readings that we get off the meter are about 20 milliwatts right in front of the microwave oven. You step outside now in your town and you know if you're only getting exposed to 20 milliwatts right now with the new networks you're having a good day a 47 foot cell tower right in your yard can you hear me now it's that infamous line we've all a 47 foot cell phone tower is coming to a neighborhood near you Ladies and gentlemen, that's part of the plan, and it's only going to get worse, and it's part of the eugenics program. Now, look, you know, there probably isn't a whole lot you can do about, um, you know, the pesticides or the fluoride other than just, you know, not eating, um, you know, industrial food and the like. But as far as the radiation, I mean, there's something you can do there. You can put up shielding. You can ditch your smartphone. Uh, you can put a, you know, a Faraday cage around your, your smart meter. Um, and the like and you can change your routes you can you know kind of scope out your town but um, you know once you're dosed you're dosed it's like getting a vaccine and if you're you know getting dosed every day 100 milliwatts you know that's gonna take a toll over time ladies and gentlemen and you know everybody's uh, hearing about you know a huge rise in cancer cases you know in their you know in their world not just you know something on TV what else uh, oh maybe we should get back to the news huh you guys were liking the news probably a little bit better than the uh, the same old song and dance but look uh, it's effective you know once you get a meter in your hand you know we found basically the least expensive one that actually works because the idea is once you get a meter in your hand you're gonna have a whole different appreciation for you know what's going on out there you're gonna look at these death towers you know quite differently and you're going to be looking at your phone uh, quite differently uh, based on, you know, the science, based on, you know, what these towers and this uh, technology is putting out. So, yeah, it looks like the video guy totally zapped the uh, microwave oven uh, video. Or maybe, well, we've got like another one. But this is, you know, this is basically off the, the charts. This is in Texas, very recent video. And this is just like a 4G death tower maybe it's got a you know a couple upgrades but you know everybody's getting dosed now in ways that you know we were never dosed before no american generation has gone through 20 years of these radiation levels there's no telling what is going to happen you know what it's going to look like in 20 years and they'll never let us know they'll never connect the dots you know in the stories that do come out uh, just one last thing and then we'll get back to the news but you know in the stories that do come out with the cancer clusters that make it to the local news you know it isn't until you know people from the schools talk to each other and go oh your kid too huh that they connect the dots and it makes it to the local news and a lot of people just aren't talking to each other anymore you know and if a tragedy happens to them you know it's just like nobody really hears about it nobody really cares anymore right but you know, these things are dangerous. They've been dangerous. They're getting more and more dangerous. And, you know, more radiation doesn't make sense. If people really want to connect, 
you know, let them use Wi-Fi, let the, you know, the range or the scope of the radiation be limited to like, you know, 100 yards from the, you know, from the transmitter or something. But to blanket an entire, you know, city or state or country with this radiation so that there's no escape is unprecedented and illogical. You know, if this isn't part of like some kind of, you know, eugenics program, I don't know what is. And, you know, there's no telling, um, you know, what all of the side effects are from this, from this radiation. But, you know, we've seen, um, you know, a long list from the white papers that are out there from psychological effects, you know, neurological effects, uh, you know, sleep patterns, ringing in the ears, uh, heart palpitations, immune system suppression, cancers, you know, mu mutations of chromosomes. I mean, a real long, nasty list of side effects that are already documented in the white papers. And look, um, you know, this is something that we can have an impact on. You know, we can, we can change people's perception on the death towers and do something about these death towers. And it's an enemy that we can see. We might not be able to see COVID. We might not be able to, you know, catch up to Fauci and, and Bill Gates. But, you know, these death hours are, you know, basically a, a soft target in everybody's backyard waiting for the barbecue. You know what I mean? So that's basically what people should be kind of, you know, strategizing upon for the time being. You know, practice your Red Dawn skills because the goon squads are coming and, you know, if you can, you know, have some success in your activism like these Antifa and BLM, then look, then you're just participating in, you know, the revolution just like everybody else. But, you know, sit at home and just get slow dosed and, and gassed and irradiated and, and terrorized by the system is, is complacency and it's basically giving them permission to do more. And that's what we don't want. We don't want them to do more. We want them to do less. And they need to take the hint that we don't want. That was fooling around with these viruses. Prohibited. Fooling around. Despite that, yeah. Dr. Fauci gave $3.7 million to the Wuhan laboratory. We pay for it. We pay for the damn virus that's killing us. Indeed, we're paying for the damn virus that's killing us, ladies and gentlemen. Not sure what the video guy is doing. But, yeah, these new death hours, I mean, we should expect to see this kind of set up in everybody's downtown before you know it. And, uh, you know, they look pretty badass, pardon the language. And we kind of want to talk about, you know, the gear that we're seeing here, uh, if we can. But it looks like there's multiple uh, rectennas. We actually recognize some of this gear by, by looking at uh, the commercials. But, you know, each one of these rectangles, for the most part, is... A, a transmitter that's able to transmit at least 180 degrees uh, on the vertical and adjust the plane uh, quite significantly on the horizontal as well and um, you know basically they're phaser beaming you with these things now there's a couple power supply boxes in here but you know this thing is super gnarly to say the least, if they're going to put these, you know, every 150 feet, if they're going to put a setup like this every 150 feet, you know, you just can't imagine the radiation. But we see at least, you know, four or five different uh, rectennas on top of uh, omnidirectional antennas as well. You know, these are much, you know, more extreme than, you know, the first prototypes of these, you know, 5G small cell sites, as they called them, which was, you know, looked like a like a tin can on top of a uh, utility pole. But we're seeing all sorts of basically, uh, we're seeing all sorts of different ways that they're deploying this technology. And let's see if we've got some other examples. So this is something that you might see in a smaller town, but in any case, we're thinking about the news. But look, uh, you know, you got that thing there is a rectenna, 180 degree uh, transmitter, and uh, hooked up to the power supply. But all this, you know, all that rubber there, uh, that goes up like you wouldn't even believe. So it's like it's like an accelerant all to itself. But you know, that's part of the barbecue. Now look at this thing. This thing here is coming to your neighborhood. Look how huge 
it is. It's like literally a five-story building on a pole. And it's a mega transmitter. Look at this thing. This is the 47-foot death tower that's coming to everybody's street. Something similar. Ominous. Alien-like. And look, you know, you see everything that's going on out there in the world today. I mean, they are definitely trying to kill people. You know, not only with, you know, the fluoride, the, the vaccines, the pesticides, the GMOs, you know, the, the COVID and the like, but, you know, with these death towers, they're definitely trying to kill people. And none of the politicians are talking about it. None of the, you know, none of the mainstream news is talking about it. Instead, they're talking about like race and sexuality and stuff like that. But what about these eugenics programs, for fuck's sakes? Pardon my language. And, you know, this is just the beginning of the nightmare. And so, look, fight back on every front. But don't overload people. You know, don't do a whole STFN broadcast when you, when you talk to somebody new or as you're harassing people in your entourage. Just plant seeds and let them do their own research. You know, just talk about, you know, one little thing and they'll come back a couple weeks later and go, oh, did you hear about this, this, and this? You're like, oh, yeah, very good, Putty One. Very good. But, you know, if you're just, like, sitting there drilling them, giving them a whole big broadcast on everything you know, Labor Temple, what the fuck is this? Um, you know, if you're giving people a big broadcast on everything you know, uh, they're probably going to run away. And so sometimes less is more when it comes to raising awareness but people should prepare for dark winter ladies and gentlemen because it looks like project cypher is about to go live and we're just trying to find uh what is going on with the video guy if we could bring back the news that would be really excellent but this is live uh right now Maybe we'll find it. And there we are. Oh, yeah. Big breaking news. A couple has been placed under house arrest for testing positive ankle bracelets in Kentucky. And uh, this is probably, you know, going to be the new norm. We're seeing a lot of new extremes. People being snatched uh, by unmarked federal agents in unmarked vans. And uh, we're seeing, you know, cities uh, under siege, totally cut off from uh, the rest of the world, like Melbourne, Australia. And uh, so, you know, this will be coming uh, to us next winter. Right now in Australia, it's their winter. It's like, you know, basically January, uh, nearly. And so, or it must be like February, March. So essentially, you know, right on schedule, just kind of like the way we locked down during you know, the last winter, uh, they're being locked down, but a little more severely, and we can expect, uh, you know, the same thing uh, come next, uh, you know, next winter here. California man accused of gambling away COVID relief funds, millions of dollars. People were just, you know, getting paid. They didn't, you know, they didn't even check to see who they were issuing checks to, and a lot of people, you know, essentially uh, made out like bandits. Not sure what else, uh, you know, a lot of rabies uh, videos out there. People just kind of like losing their minds uh, over the, you know, trivial stuff. And, and not just a little bit, but like severe. So a lot of hate out there and, uh, you know, what can you do? But it's getting more extreme. And, you know, we're kind of getting into the old news and the like. Uh, big shout out again to everybody in the audience. Appreciate everybody tuning in. And right now we're in the road. We're on the road. We should talk a little bit about what we've been up to, but you know, operational security. But we're up in the mountains, hiking around and uh, exploring new territory. You know, in case you got a bug out, survive uh, out in the wilderness. And uh, you know, we're, we we discovered like you know, all sorts of things. We're planning to do kind of like a little documentary on on our uh, latest adventures here but uh, a lot of hiking today just you know feet in the river you know just chilling in the mountains getting the fresh air enjoying the summer uh, while it's still here preparing for dark winter and uh, you know there's cobra 
COVID commander, ladies and gentlemen, letting this virus in, infecting everyone, protecting the pedophiles and the like. And uh, look, everybody's got a responsibility to push back, fight back against the system before it's too late. We'll leave it there for this broadcast. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Till the next time, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to this, 